All right, I'm at an apartment complex right now. I drove by and I saw this thing. I thought it was a stool, but it's actually like a toddler bed. Look at how adorable that is. It's a little bit dirty. Obviously, it would need to be cleaned up. But, I mean, if I had a kid or even a dog, I would for sure take that. But I really don't have any room for it right now or a use for it. But it's adorable. And then there's this TV. It probably works, but I'm not going to take that either. But I think that's super adorable. All right, I just got here. I just opened the door, and I think I hit the jackpot. I haven't really looked around yet. I hope it's not destroyed, but look at all of this stuff. All right, I'll show you guys when I uh, get it all and bring it home. Hey, guys. I have an amazing, amazing haul to share with you today. Um, I'm so glad I could get it. I actually didn't have to work today, um, which is very unusual for me for Mondays. So I was able to go to some stores that I have never, ever been to on Mondays because they're a little bit farther away. Um and so I decided to check it out and it paid off. So before I get into this crazy, wonderful haul, I just wanted to show you guys my dinner I have prepping here. This is about a third of one of the little meat things <laughs> that I found the other day. Um, based on all the comments, I'm thinking it's beef brisket. It's pretty much cooked now. Actually, I'm going to turn it off altogether. It looks good. I've started to kind of shred it apart and it's looking really good. I actually just put a bottle of... Um, that German beer that I found in here as well to brew, not brew, but like kind of cook with it. So that's delicious. I will be eating that soon. <laughs> and then back to our haul. So as you can see, I have all this good stuff, but we're going to start over here with the more boring stuff. Uh, I have two tunics. One is a small medium, and then the one underneath it is a large extra large. They are brand new. And I don't think there's a price on there. No. But I guess they were just getting rid of them. I'm not sure. They don't really look too wintry. They're kind of cute. I might keep one. We'll see. It has these little sleeves. So pretty good find there. I have some, we're upside down here, chickpea snacks. Two of those. A bag of sweet potato tortilla chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifth Avenue chocolate bars. Three separate kinds of Chex Mix. This one's cheddar. That one is... Bold party blend, and that one's regular. I have two of the Haribo, Haribo star mixes, and then a pile of the mystery flavor gold bears. Um, how many is that? Eight, six, 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 six of the store brand cheese twists, one of these aloe drinks, and then a tonic water, which they decided to write outdated on, which is fine. Um, its date was in January, but I don't know why they wrote that, they never do. I have three cases of these Tropicana Kids watermelon juice. That sounds pretty tasty. And then another one of these Thermopulse relief wraps. I found two of these before. They were in better condition than this box is, but it's still brand new. It's still in there, so that's fine. I have a pack of cherry almond paleo cookies and two packs of or, um, graham crackers. I haven't found graham crackers in a while. I've actually been thinking about that. <laughs> I used to find them all the time, but I haven't found them, but here they are. And then I have this little happy birthday balloon. It's missing the stick, but um, my sister's birthday is in two weeks, so I'm going to keep it around and see if it stays blown up till then. I'm not thinking it's going to stay that that long, but we can we can try. We'll see how it goes. I have a box of Kleenex. It was just dented up a little bit on the side here, but that's an easy fix. And then I have another one of these, which I'm excited about. I found three from a different location a while ago, so here's my fourth. And then I have a brand new box of U Kotex tampons, not even opened at all, so that was just waste. Is there expiration? What is that? No. Okay. I have two containers of the Nature Valley biscuits with peanut butter. That sounds pretty good. I have some Oreo minis, a whole big stack of those, and some more over here as well, actually. And then these little Oreos Thins Bites. I have quite a few of the Fudge Dipped Original and one Mint. This is a pack of moist towelettes, but it's missing the little cover. So I'll have to figure out something to do with those, but I am going to keep those. And then I have a open bag of Cherry Hershey's Kisses, which is fine because obviously they are wrapped individually. And then I have two more of these. I find these quite often actually as well. I don't think I can open it with one hand, but there is... Oh, here it comes. There's lip balm in here. So as you can see, it's still sealed. And then this is a little keychain, so... Two of those, super cute. And uh, it's looking like this is it for Valentine's Day, guys. I haven't found a single thing aside from these 
that are Valentine's Day, which is crazy. If you guys watch The Daily Divers, <laughs> I was hoping to find something like they were, but I've been checking those store locations and I haven't found a single thing. So, um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be finding too much Valentine's this year, but that's fine um, because obviously I'm getting tons of other stuff. So I got this little solar-powered dancing gorilla with his little hearts. These pink or um, red heart headband. It's coming undone. It's seen some better days. And then this little uh, mini Mickey Mouse sticker crayon coloring page set. The coloring pages are inside there. Moving along, I have some chocolate color covered almonds, some pistachios. I will keep these. And then I have a whole bunch of these little individual packs of maple almond butter. Um, did I see, show these? I don't think so. Some Milano dark chocolate and then a major pile of beef, pork. What is this? Ooh, wake. Isn't that like very expensive? I think that's a very expensive cut of beef. Obviously this is dried, but um, a whole bunch of jerky right there. That... Oh, and then right here, um, these actually came from a different store, and I didn't take, I probably took about a third of them, but I have a whole bunch of pretzels. Some of them are uh, these twists. These down here are gluten-free. I have some of these uh, pieces, cheddar and honey, honey mustard, so a whole bunch of pretzels over here. Finishing out the boring stuff, I would say, I have some cumin, which I love, two things of earphones. Blue, this one's Bluetooth. I don't think the other one's Bluetooth. Brand new, as you can see. This is some Skin Calm. Chamomile and Ylang Ylang. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's supposed to improve your skin and mood. Interesting. This is kind of cool. It's a gel face mask. It has a silicone applicator, and then it has the gold and the charcoal. I don't see anything wrong with this. Obviously, the things are still in there. It's just open, so... That's fine. These are wireless headphones, kind of like AirPods, except obviously they're not. They were $20 in their Everlast brand. But on the thing it says, well, I'm not sure what that first word is, right? Oh, right off. Um, headphones dirty. Ooh. Um, the headphones were just a little bit dirty. I wiped them down. They are in there. They seem fine now. And a lot of people question why all of this stuff gets thrown away. And it's right here. They get a write-off for anything that they have to discard, which is why some stores destroy things because it has to be destroyed for them to get the write-off, as they say. But um, So they technically, I wouldn't say make money, but they get a cut of things that they throw out, which is how, how it goes, I guess. And then back here, this is not the jar that I'm showing you, although I did find that in the dumpster a little while ago. I'm showing you the pasta. I have already transported it from its box into this nice little jar. Super cute, colorful pasta, so that's a good find as well. Moving on to the fun stuff. We'll start here. I have nine of these chargers. Um, you know, they've seen some better days. This one's a little bit warped. Some of them have some cracks going on. But I might be able to find something to do with them. They were originally $15. You can't see it, but I saw it in another one. Marked down to $7.97. I have nine of those. Not sure what I'll do with them, but I'll find something. Um, back here, I have a $30 lantern. The glass is actually not broken. Let me see if I can reach it a little better. Okay, here we go. So it has this little candle holder on the inside there, not broken. What the problem was is two of these little wooden things had split. So I glued them, and I actually have them taped right now to kind of help them stay tight. I obviously will take the tape off once the glue has set, but, um, yeah, so luckily they were there. I took them, and from this angle, you won't even be able to tell anything. Super cool. And then I have another lantern, which I actually found this exact same one not too long ago, except this one does have some broken glass on it. The other one did not. This pane back here is semi-broken. I'll have to carefully get the rest of that out as well. Let's see how much this one is. I want to say it was 35 Sorry. I'm struggling. Okay, there's no price tag, but I'm fairly certain it was 35 when I found it the other day. Okay, moving along, I have this super cute little pineapple. I actually found something similar to this quite a while ago, and I wanted to paint it white. It was all gold, and I wanted to paint it white, and I never got around to it, so here's this one. It does have a chip on the back, 
but it's perfect from this angle. That was $11. And then I have this little, um, I think it's a plant holder. It's chipped down here at the bottom, $13, but it still stands and holds everything just fine. Nice blue color. And let's go back here. All right, so first, starting with this nice little plant stand. It has little feet down there, some texture to it. It just has a crack. Can you see it? No? Right, oh, right there. And it kind of goes down, yeah. And it is, it is all the way through, um, so I wouldn't put water in there, but you could put a pre-potted plant in there for sure, and it would be just fine. Now this thing inside of it, well, that's kind of cool looking, is interesting. Um, let me find the actual light source. Sorry, I'm filming very poorly today. Okay, so it's just a light bulb on a string. And it comes with a little plug and everything. That's all it is. And they have it marketed as a pendant lamp with an Edison bulb, which it is. Um, this was only thrown out because it came out of the packaging. But obviously the packaging was still there and it still works. So that's kind of cool. I will keep that, I think. This was... Can we see? No, it was clearance down to $12, so somewhere around there, probably $15 when it was regular price. Kind of cool. I think I'll keep it. Moving along, I have this nice little boxed, um, I think this is lavender, and then some greenery around it. This was thrown out because this back part had broken off, but honestly, I like it better without the back part anyway, so I'm going to definitely keep that, use it for spring decor. I have this little succulent vase. Thing. <laughs> the bottom looks like a robin's egg, which is super pretty, but it's broken. But that's fine. I can take these out and use those elsewhere. And then I have this little guy right here. He is a white bunny with some gold accents holding a blue egg. His ear is broken, and it was not in the dumpster. But from this angle, he's beautiful, so I figured he was worth taking as well. Down here, I have a three-section soap dispenser with sponge and steel wool. The dispenser part was not in the dumpster, so that's why it was thrown out, obviously. But the sponge and the steel wool are still fine. Maybe I can find a pump that fits, and then I can keep that. So it's pretty cute. And if I can't find anything, at least I got two sponges out of it. Um, back here, I just have this one little piece of random vine greenery, so I'll probably keep that as well. I have a sign that says, Life Happens, Coffee Helps. It is cracked in this corner right here. It's the same style of the champagne bar signs I found a little while ago, um, except this one's black. It was $20 marked down to $16.97. I don't know if I'll keep that. I'm not a huge coffee person. I mean, I do have a Keurig set up back here, but mostly for my boyfriend. And uh, we'll see. Who knows? And then this, just a little sign that says, hey, obviously it's cracked. I need to do a little better job gluing it. That's how they have it decorated. And this was $11, so... Pretty good find there. And then we're gonna move down here really quick. I took these, when I took these, I thought they were frames, but when I got home, I am positive now that they are legs to something. So either a bench or a chair, because these are the little non-skid feet things. And then it has all of the hardware on there as well. So maybe if I go back within the next few days, there will be the top to whatever this was, <laughs> hopefully. Um, speaking of that, just so I don't forget, I have this lovely piece over here. I just have it resting on the legs right now. It's not actually set up, but I just wanted to get a look of how it how it looks. <laughs> As you can see, it has these grommets on the side and it's kind of tufted on the top. It does need to be nailed back down into the legs and then on the top and everything, but it has these nice little X side legs. I mean, structurally, it will be just fine once it's all nailed back down. So I looked this up online. It was $130 retail. And I think it's super pretty. So I don't have room for it in my house right now, unfortunately. But I might find room to store it so I can keep it for the future. All right, back this way. I have this nice sign. It says, if you want to bring happiness to the world, go home and love your family. And that's a Mother Teresa quote. It was $45 marked down to $27. And the reason it was thrown out is because some of the gray peeled off right here. But that's no big deal. Um, I can paint it if it bothers me that much, but it's really not that bad. I'm kind of excited about this because it is the size of a painting that I have in my bathroom. 
and I was actually looking to replace it. It's a really nice picture, but it doesn't go with the theme of the rest of my house. It's kind of colors along these lines. Um, and this obviously goes with the rest of my house. So I think I'm going to change it out. We'll see how it looks. If I like it, I will definitely keep it. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. And finishing up here, I have these three little bunnies. Their ears were broken. He was the worst. But I was able to glue them on. Both of these ones had the big ear broken. And this one had both. So um, these ones look fine, actually. This one you can tell. But when he's displayed for Easter, I won't care. And nobody's going to comment on it. So I will definitely put those out. Same with this little uh, mom and mom and baby over here, too. Her ears were broken off. I glued them back on. These little styrofoam wooden creatures are kind of hard to glue because the styrofoam doesn't stay tight, if that makes sense. But, you know, they'll stay on for now. They'll be fine. Cute little Easter decor as well. And then this, I think, is actually my favorite find this haul. They are the Coffee, Sugar, and Flour set. These came brand new in their box. $40. They're not um, Ray Dunn. They're <laughs> like off-brand Ray Dunn, I guess, because they, they kind of have the same look to them. But they have all their lids. There's no cracks in any of them. The only thing is that this little sugar handle right here, just the one, had broken off. I glued it back on, and they look perfect. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not one to like keep big pots of flour and sugar and coffee, so I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to use them for, but I think they're adorable and eventually I would like to have them set up in my kitchen. So, this is my haul for the day. I might try to uh, add up the retail value. We'll see, I'm not gonna guarantee that, but if I do, I can I can guarantee it's over $300 for sure, just because this is $130 alone. And then I have that small little live dive where I found this, it wasn't a live dive, but I showed you the inside of the dumpster. And then I, I showed you that video of the toddler bed, which I know I said the word adorable way too many times. I understand, but it was adorable. <laughs> it's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, and I've contemplated all day going back to get it <laughs> just for the future when I possibly get a dog and then he could sleep on it. I think it's so, so cute, but I'm trying to talk myself out of going back to get it because I don't really have any room to put it in my shed and I don't have any plans on getting a dog soon. So... Uh, I don't know. It's just really cute. I've never seen anything like it before. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Um, I am about 25 subscribers away from 5,000 right now. So, so thank you so much for that. Um, so in my next video, I think I'll probably be doing a giveaway. So down below, put some things in the comment of what you would want me to include, either from this haul or things that I find often um, in the giveaway box that I'm going to be posting once I hit 5,000. So thank you so much for watching. I will be back again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.